My mom was able to get me into the lab at the hospital that she works for. Um, she knew someone in there and I was able to do some job shadowing. So I went um, all through the different parts of the lab and um, one day I just happened to go into the cytology department and the cytotechnologist put a slide, a sputum sample up onto the, uh, the microscope stage. And while I was looking down and looking around at the different cells, she was telling me what what she could tell from that sample, like what it meant and you know what this patient probably had. And it was just amazing to me. Like it was like being a detective. You're kind of digging through trying to get all these pieces of evidence and you know come up with a diagnosis and it was amazing. It was just something that I could really see myself doing. In diagnostic cytology, you look at slides under the microscope that contain cells from the human body in order to make diagnoses from the cells that you see. It's really, really rewarding. I really love my job. It's perfect for people that are like me. So I'm a huge science geek and I like to sit and to just kind of lose myself in a slide and try to figure out exactly what's going on. We can't do our job without the doctors, the doctors need us to help them give the accurate diagnoses to the patients. We are really a part of a team and you know if either one of us isn't there we are not able to do our job and patient care would suffer. I have to say the biggest challenge that I've had is learning to be okay with maybe diagnosing someone with cancer. Um, at first, the first few times I found it really difficult, but I then, you know, kind of reflected on it and realized that if it was me, I would want to know right away. I would want to have the best chance I had at fighting the disease. And so I kind of think of myself as not someone that's, you know, sentencing someone to having cancer. They already have cancer. I'm giving them the greatest opportunity to survive it.